first ceremony I conducted was 2007. Uh, that year we had about 300 students cross the stage and receive their ring. Uh, last year was the largest year ever and we had almost 700 students receive their ring. So it's been a tremendous growth in student participation in the ring ceremony and it's just great to see so many students talking about it and being active and participating in it. The first time I attended the ring ceremony was as a vice president for finance. And I thought when I went there and I was just, I got to sit just kind of in the audience and watch. And I was amazed at how the students really reacted so strongly to the ceremony. And I see that even today as president when you're watching them out there and you're shaking their hands and how excited they are. And so that was my first impression and that really remains true to this day. Well, the ring ceremony to me is the start of a closure, uh, a closure that's a very positive thing. Uh, it's that step that lets uh, students know we're approaching the end, but it's just a great reward and a great opportunity to see, you know, those students who know that their academic career is coming to an end. This is part of the first send-off, the second is graduation. It proclaims your affiliation with the university uh, to those that are not and is very often a very effective conversation starter to tell uh, prospective parents and prospective students about Sam Houston uh, State University. So I, I think on so many levels it's just a wonderful badge to wear publicly attesting to your degree and to the esteem that you hold for the university. When you walk into somebody's office that ring will make a statement for you. It's a symbol of achievement. It's also a keepsake. Over time, that, that ring will be a keepsake. It'll help you remember your good times at Sam Houston, and eventually it'll be passed down through your family. When Sam Houston left home, his mother gave him a ring with the word honor engraved on the inside of it, and uh, he lived a very honorable life in, in most ways. You know, we're the only university that has that, and uh, the ring itself is just a beautiful symbolic memory of the university. Honor's sort of two things. It, it's, a, it's a high level of integrity and character. And I think if you study the life of Sam Houston, you see that was uh, very important. And honor also means reputation. And I think that's what Sam Houston's mother was saying to him when she sent him off and gave him that ring that had honor inscribed in it, is do your family proud. Don't dishonor your family. And I think that's a special thing for people uh, to keep in mind. And you'd be surprised how many people comment on honor being engraved in their ring. It's a point of pride and honor for them to know that's in their ring. I think honor is a calling card for all of our students. It is something that when you look inside that ring, it reminds you that you came from a place where history is important where we have been a part of something in your life. And you must honor that. You have to honor your family, honor your friends, honor in your job. Honor is a calling card, and it, it is, if you will, something that we all must live by. And a person who lives by honor will achieve great things. The funniest thing is when I'm handed the rings, the person usually hands these out with a black glove on so you can't see it. And that's what the audience doesn't see. So it's kind of fun to know that there's this thing kind of hand putting a black with a black glove, putting the ring out there for me to get. So each person gets their individual ring because we keep them in order. Um, and so I think that's a fun part of the ceremony that most people don't know about. We worked so hard to get the ceremony to be perfect because students and alumni could participate in the first ceremony. And so everything was perfect. We had everything done and we forgot once the ceremony had started that we forgot to request the sprinklers to be turned off and so you could see the sprinklers start coming on from the back and they were getting closer and closer to the chairs and we finally found someone to turn the sprinklers off before they hosed the crowd. 20 or 30 years from now when they're graduates and they're still wearing that Sam Houston ring or displaying it in their office it's a conversation piece and they immediately connect with other Sam Houston alumni. It's not just, oh, hey, I have a ring on my finger. It's, you know, it's more than that. It's pride. It's, you know, I worked so hard to accomplish this, you know, for my family, you know, for myself and to better my life. Like, I'm proud that I earned this ring, that I, I'm able to attend this ceremony. And, you know, it's an honor to be able to receive it from such a great school. 
I think that it's important for us to continue our ring ceremony and to be strong in doing that and make sure that as we go through the ring ceremonies, we always remind ourselves this is something that is going to touch the lives of these students and they will remember forever. And I think that that is the most rewarding thing for us is that we're creating a tradition, we're creating a memory, and we're creating a circumstance where they'll remember it forever. And I hope that each student enjoys it every time they go through. And, you know, we mark our success by the students that we walk across that stage at the end of four years. And we also mark our success by the students who get those rings. And it's a constant reminder that, you know, there are Bearcats out in the world.